Unitree is in the final preparations for the world's first-ever robot boxing match, which is set to be live-streamed this Sunday on the 25th. I don't know if you guys have seen some of this clips on Twitter, but from a few days ago this Unitree clips have been popping up on the platform showing how the preparation is going down. If you are keen, you will notice these robots are smaller in size compared to what you might have seen before from Unitree. So they came up with a new iteration of the G1 robot that is specifically meant for boxing, and it's called Unitree G1 Boxing. Then they have another iteration specifically for playing football, and it's called Unitree G1 Comp. So usually they have several iterations of the same robot that is made specifically for different purposes, and I guess they do this to create variety. So the G1 Boxing iteration is smaller in size or labeled as kid-sized to improve balance and stability. If you have watched a robot event before, like RoboCup, they have different classification of robots and one of them is called kid-sized. It doesn't mean that the robot is for kids, but it means that the robot is around the height of a kid belonging to average-sized parents. I guess someone like you. This kid-sized version of robot has a smaller center of gravity and optimized limb control to provide better stability when the robot engages in combat. You know, like shorter dudes. Should I guess if this is someone like you again? So in real-world trials, usually larger humanoid robots often topple when they shift weight too fast or fail to adjust to minor balance errors. But as of now, there has been a lot of improvements in stability for adult-sized robots. So the way that the G1 sidesteps this issue by reducing height and limb weight, allowing for faster and more controlled recovery movements, especially after executing a punch or taking a hit. Here is the video, enjoy it, and don't forget to hit the sub button. Catch you in the next one.